Hello, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank really you exciting. Much. If someone puts solar panels on their roof, what is the average time frame where it can turn around? An average home, probably a system cost would be about $35,000, a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on the particular type of installation. NYSERDA right now would provide around $8,750 right off the bat. So the homeowner would actually only have to come up with around $26,000, $25,000. a lot of money. Yep, but the federal government is kind enough to put in a 30% tax credit. So now there's another 8,000 or so off of that. So now they're down around 18-ish. And then New York State also has their own tax credit on top of the direct incentives. And that's 25%, but it's capped. Unlike the federal government, they've actually put a cap on it, and it's capped at 5,000. But now you're down around 13-ish. So that $35,000 system really only ends up costing the homeowner around 13. Not such a bad deal. Oh, and there's hey. Alex Gromack. Hey, how's it going? Hey there. How are you? Good. The incentives are absolutely the driving force. There's no question, you know, that it really needs to promote the technology. And if you look at Germany, Germany's the number one installer of solar on the right. planet, and they have less solar resource than Seattle, Washington. And you say, well, how can it work? Because their government implemented incentives that motivated people to do it. And that's what needs to happen. And that will make it happen. Solar energy is absolutely critical to the future. Well, if you can get a tax credit of 30% through encouragement of government programs, more and more people are going to put solar panels on their house. We put in $3.3 billion to encourage initiatives such as this.